All right, it's card of the day, and this is card number 251, titled An Overjoyed Han Solo. Let's learn more about Han Solo. At some point, Han Solo arrived on Felarion to rescue Princess Leia, who had crash-landed after a scouting mission gone awry, as well as two servants, Sparv and Bikram Kallus, the latter two being former acquaintances of Han and planned to steal the Meganite Moss for a profit. Later, Han and Chewbacca were hired by Ramiz, a moisture farmer on Aduba 3, to protect his village from a band of local thugs known as the Cloud Riders, led by Sergi X. Arrogantus. To help with this task, Han and Chewbacca hired six misfit spacers, including Don Juan Quixote, a human who believed himself to be a Jedi Knight, Jackson, a Lepi with a mean disposition, and Jim Doshan and his droid FE9Q. Han, Chewbacca, and the Star Hoppers of Aduba 3 arrived at Ramiz's village, Anakra, only to find it under attack by high hounds. They managed to drive away the beast, saving the life of a young girl named Mary, to the great relief of her father, Ancho, the village spokesman. But their relief was short-lived once Sergi X Arrogantis and his gang attacked. Han and the Starhoppers did their best to defend the village, but it was to no avail as FE9Q was killed and Mary's grandfather, the old one, dismissed the hired spacer's help. Instead of relying on Han and his team, the shaman summoned a large mythical reptilian monster called the Behemoth from the World Below to handle the invading Cloud Riders. Many members of the Starhoppers died trying to destroy the creature. Using Quixote's lightsaber, Han managed to kill the deadly beast once and for all. After a misadventure, on the massive gambling complex known as the Wheel, Han hid out for repairs on Orleon and was soon besieged by an emissary of Jabba the Hutt. Within a week, Han had rescued the emissary from stone mites and, by some miracle, had the bounty taken off his head. He returned to Tatooine and started to heal his relationship with Jabba the Hutt. He made Kessel runs for the Crime Lord, even beating Boshek's most recent record-breaking time. Sadly, this was not to last. The remains of Crimson Jack's Star Destroyer were discovered by the Hutt's agents, and within days, the bounty was back on Han's head. An even higher reward was registered for anyone who would capture him alive so Jabba the Hutt could kill Han. Han himself. While evading Jabba's organization, Han and Chewbacca continued to work with the Rebel Alliance for the next three years. Han became a good friend of Luke Skywalker and developed a love-hate relationship with Princess Leia, cementing friendships after close encounters with bounty hunters. Around this time, Han met Cole Sarah to create a new unit. It would remain secret for many years. That's it for now. More information on the next Han Solo card. <laughs> And now it's the back side of the card, and it is yet another puzzle piece. Well, that's the card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.